Hey guys, today I'm going to do another fascinating video about uh, lenticular printing. This time I'm going to talk about the dreaded pitch test. So uh, yeah, you can use Superflip to do a pitch test, but uh, here today I'm going to use F pitch, uh, developed by uh, my very good friend. It's like what Weissman and the website is pop 3d art so of course I will give a link in the description so let's see let's see let's see so you download it I already done that but if you don't want to bother and you happen to have 40 LPI lens or a 60 LPI lens you can download the ready to print patterns uh, for uh, printers that have a resolution of uh, 720 so if you have an HP you kind of uh, out of luck but if you have a Epson which I think is a preferred preferred printer of lenticular people you're fine and if you have 50 LPI you're also out of luck so anyway let's cut to the chase and see what you get so this is so I don't know why it's doubled but it is so okay here it is so that's you would click on this I think I'm gonna click on it right now because it takes a little bit to uh, get started and you have uh, the manual which is it's very important to read it very important maybe more than once so let's let's get that guy let's have a look at that guy oh yeah and I wanted to start okay so that's the manual very good manual but there's something that was a bit confusing The what he calls the viewing angle because to me the viewing angle is not what he's talking about but that's fine so I'm gonna I think uh, where is it Okay, so it's, it's starting the F pitch. So uh, I'll get back to that viewing angle later. So let's uh, let's get started on that thing. Okay, so if it's the first time you run it, uh, just cancel this when he's asking for the job file. It's very similar to the to uh, our grape works the one that interlaces the sequence very similar so do cancel uh, let's see oh, okay it's here okay so now you can uh, do your uh, filling out the form so printing density that's your uh, resolution so for me it's 720 uh, pattern width, pattern height. That's the size of your, uh, basically the size of your lenticular lens. So in my case, I have six by four, so I have to convert. Okay, so six inches is one fifty two point four. So I'll, I'm going to put one fifty two point four, and then four inches is one o one point six. So one o one point. 101.6 uh, margin uh, I'm going to leave it as is uh, the center LPI value so basically that's the the lens pitch so I have minus 60 uh, the scale uh, I don't know why it's called a scale it's more like a step size 
so I'm gonna do 0 0.1 comment well you put whatever you want here and the theme bright other mode and I'm gonna use edge uh, um, the problem is I have is that I, I'm using a very small lens, a 6x4, that's very small. So if you have a, like an 8x10, I think you go, it's going to be much easier for you. In this case I would use center. Okay. Uh, okay, so here, this, so all I have to do is press submit. Yeah, read the manual about uh, about uh, the difference between edge and center. I think I might explain it actually. Uh, when you do center, um, it's basically uh, like a mirror edge pattern. If you look at the manual, so basically, uh, if you if you don't look at your uh, at your lens straight on. There's going to be a difference between the uh, the left edge and the right edge when you are in center mode, and so even if you are not looking at it straight on, you still can get the uh, the true uh, LPI value by taking the uh, basically the average of the uh, what you get on either side. So that's that's what's what's good about center. So here I'm using edge because I'm, I don't have enough real estate. Uh, so okay, so you do submit. Okay, so save job. So you save it if you want to. So I'm go just going to save it uh, here. But I mean, uh, you can you can you can save it somewhere else. So I'm just going to overwrite. So I'm saying yes. And uh, okay, so this is where the the pitch test is going to be printed. Okay, so it's going to be a TIFF file. Okay, so then once you have the, I'm not even going to look at. I mean, what you went once you have your TIFF file. You can just print it. When you print it, make sure that the printer does not resize anything. Make sure you, do, you don't remove the borders. Make sure that you use the highest quality possible. Make sure you use the best quality paper you can. All that good stuff. So, uh, yeah, I have to go back to the viewing angle thing in the manual. So let me, be I'll be right back because I need to use my tablet. Okay, I'm back with my tablet. So, in the manual, it's talking about like uh, view angle. So let assume that this is your, uh, oops, your lens, and here you have. This is what I call when looking at it straight on. So that's your, that's your eye here. That's the eye or the, the camera lens when you take uh, a picture with your phone like I did. So here you're looking at it straight on. So that's the lens here. And uh, th the centering pattern is going to be around here. But we'll see that uh, later. So what he calls the viewing angle is this. I should say I here. Again, so that's your I. And this angle here. In the manual, that's what he refer refers to as viewing angle. So every time you're not, every time that angle is not zero, you're not looking straight on. Uh, you you're introducing some uh, skew uh, skewness 
if that term exists, skew, so it's skewed. So it's not going to be correct. Or you have to take into account that you are looking uh, at an angle. Uh, I was a bit confused because to me the viewing angle is a bit different. It's if this is the lens and this is my uh, straight on. To me, that's the viewing angle. Okay, so I got I was confused with that, but okay. So, but that's that's what he means by viewing angle. Okay, so let's go back to let's go back to the other stuff. Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back in the manual. So yeah, so this is the edge edge pattern, and this is basically ideal. Um, so the, your pitch is here, right at 40. You are looking for the horizontal line. So here it's clear as day. Now if you are... hold on... Yeah, so here he's talking about that viewing angle. If you are off, you are not looking straight on, and uh, uh, the view is skewed. And uh, you get, uh, I think he's got a picture of that, yeah. So here yeah, you're skewed. And you can see as soon as, uh, and it shows that it's skewed because this, uh, this black bar here is not at the center. To be sure that you are looking at it straight on, uh, this, you see that, that black bar should be in the middle of that centering pattern here. So. That's the the black bar should be in the middle of that white area here. Same thing here. Uh, and of course, you also have the uh, uh, in the in the margin you have the alignment uh, edge. Uh, so this you should see a black bar like this. I mean, it may not be. At that location, it could be here. Yeah, it could be, you know, closer this way, but it has to be like a bar, not a bunch of little bars. So, okay. So make sure it looks like this. So this is the way it should look like when you uh, when you put the uh, the pattern underneath the lens. Okay. Um, so this is the edge pattern, and uh, I'm just going to show the uh, center. Okay, so this is a uh, center pattern, and here again is a uh, here. There's no skewness. Is looking at it straight on. This black bar is in the middle of this uh, centering pattern, the white stuff, and here you have a, a black bar, black bar. So that's good. So that's perfect, and you can get the LPI here. Okay, that's the horizontal line for 40. So what happens if you're skew uh, it does he show it when you're skewed in the center? Let me see. I think it's probably later. Yeah, you can also reverse the uh, the color. That's the between bright and dark. Uh, hold on. I thought there was a picture with the center mode where you are not looking I think okay I think it's on the website okay let me go back I think it's here learn more so have a, have a look have a look at this also okay F pitch okay so this is a skewed view. Okay, this is center pattern. Par perfect. Okay, and this is when you are not looking at it straight on. So what you can do is that you can... Uh, so you have basically uh, an edge pattern on the right and an edge pattern on the left that's mirror mirrored. 
So what you do is that even though it's not uh, the view is skewed, you can still use that to get the LPI. So in this case, it's the average between this value here and that value there. And in this case, you get 40. Same as here, when you have no skewness. Okay, so now let's look at my own attempts. Yeah, I'm not sure. Oh, it's upside down. Great. Uh, transform. No. Transform. Rotate 180. Yes. Okay, so here. Um, I taped my lens. As you can see, this is a small lens. So this is uh, what you get when you uh, when you do the when you run F pitch with the uh, parameters that I gave earlier. That's what you get, and that's my lens. So the lens, unfortunately, doesn't cover the whole thing. So what I do is that I make sure that my lens covers the centering pattern, which is here. Okay, and I make sure I have the margin, one of the two margin here, the right margin. So here, as you can see, uh, I took the picture with my phone. I'm not 100% uh, centered here, so there's a little bit of skewness. So the result I'm getting is probably not 100% correct, but it's probably close enough. So in that case, uh, and because I use such a small lens and I have to reduce the size of that uh, pattern, the print, the the pitch, pitch test uh, pattern, it's harder to figure it out. It's much easier if you have a larger lens. If you have a 8x10, much easier. This is a pain in the butt here. So it looks like... So this is 60 LPI measured, 60 point uh, zero two, zero four, zero six, zero eight, and sixty point ten. So it looks like I'm at sixty point uh, zero two, maybe sixty point zero two on that first tick here. Okay. So. Okay, so now I think what I did is that I uh, reduced the step size here. I went with uh, 0 0.05 so that I could be more precise here. So let's see what I'm getting. Okay, let me... Okay, so as you can see, now I'm at uh, 60.0, And I was hoping I would be more precise, but the problem is that uh, even though I'm uh, looking right, there's no skewness, I still get a very faint pattern pretty much unusable. So that's the problem with me having a 6x4 lens, I think. And this stuff I printed on a uh, no, iOS quality and uh, Epson premium photo paper. I don't have ultra, ultra premium photo paper, but uh, it's almost, it's almost not usable here. Okay, so then what I did is that I I used the center pattern and I reduced its size so that I could I could uh, okay let me show you
Okay. So here I'm using a center pattern and I try to shrink the width and the height of my uh, pattern so that I could fit everything under the lens but I still was not able to but I was able to get the top centering pattern under the lens and the bottom one and I still of course use the, the margin the one on the margin I mean not the, the centering but the uh, alignment pattern on the uh, on the right margin and here as you can see uh, you cannot see anything okay it's not usable so I don't even know so the only one that's usable for me because I use such a small lens I think is this one and it looks like it's pointing towards 60.02 so I don't really know what to make out of this because when I use super flip uh no what uh that 6x4 lens it's coming from uh, view through and I'm uh, I think uh, the LPI value is 60.12 and when I do when I use super flip super flip for my pitch test uh, 60.12 seems kind of okay but there are tons of other values that are okay so I don't know if 60.02 is uh, correct but what I'll do is that I'll um, I'll probably make an update at some point uh, to see if I get better result when I use 60.02 instead of 60.12 uh, I don't know, it's completely different though, so I don't know so uh, so as I said before the problem for me is that I'm using a very small lens 6x4 if you use an 8x10 lens I think F pitch is it the name? hold on let me make sure F pitch F pitch for an 8x10 lens I'm sure F pitch works great better than super flip if you want a very accurate uh, LPI value uh, but for smaller lenses I think it's a bit tough it's a bit difficult oh anyway so I'm gonna stop here so if you like this, this kind of content please uh, like comment sus subscribe and that's gonna give me the will to make more so I'll see you around bye